Just when you think the genocidal war in Gaza won't get any uglier, the Zionist forces never cease to surprise. Last night, the occupying war machine brought down a storm of bombs, with residential buildings taking direct hit, leaving a train of death and injuries. There was continuous bombing all night since 9 p.m. We brought my granddaughter here at 11 p.m. She had suffocated. They didn't manage to save her. She couldn't take it anymore. Khan Yunus in the south took the worst of it, with a barrage of strikes and violence unleashed by the occupiers. It was a horror show, with healthcare facilities once again in the crosshairs of the Zionist war machine. Since last night, with the expansion of the ground operation in Khan Yunis, we received many, many injuries. There is no space for them. I work in the intensive care unit. There are only four beds there. The skyline of Khan Yunis was painted with smoke as the occupying forces went all out barging deep into western areas, bursting into hospitals like it's a raid in a video game. Yet these horrific scenes are as real as they can be, with one hospital storm and another put under siege, leaving the wounded high and dry without trauma care. Currently dead bodies are being buried here, inside Nasser complex. It's very difficult to leave the complex and go to any cemetery and bury them because we're under siege and anyone who leaves the complex is targeted. Just as the occupiers set foot in Al Mawasi district near the coast, western of Khan Yunis, they busted into Al Khair Hospital, even arresting medical staff. It seems like we're besieged from all directions. We lived this exact same situation at the Shifa complex a few months ago. We were besieged and couldn't leave. And in order to honor our dead and prevent the bodies from decomposing, we buried them in a yard at the Shifa complex. We are reliving the same scenario. These relentless daily horrors tell us one thing, the Zionist forces aren't backing down. The genocidal war on Gaza continues, causing more misery in the world's largest open-air prison.